everyone! So today I have a, another book haul to share with you all. I know I just posted my last book haul not too long ago, but I got my book outlet order in the mail yesterday and I thought I would just share with you what I got because I am very pleased with the stack of books I have right here and I'm very excited to share with you books that I purchased. The first book I got is actually not from book outlet. I was in Target the other day with my boyfriend and I always look at their books because they always have their new releases out and I noticed that they had the paperback version of A Court of Thor Thorns and Roses and it was only like eight bucks and I compared the prices with Amazon and this was actually cheaper and this is also not available on Book Outlet right now so this was really the best deal I could find on this book like everywhere that I searched um, and I've been trying to uh, get into this series for quite a while now. And it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, um, but I think it's a little more in-depth than that. I have actually started it. The receipt is my bookmark. Um, but I am really, really enjoying this so far. It has definitely gotten me out of my reading slump. And I'm so excited to um, finish this series and just, like, read it all. Because um, so far I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, so now I am on to the books that I got from Book Outlet. The first book I got is um, Salt to the Sea by Rita Sepetys. Um, I have never read any of her books before, but I only ever hear amazing things about her. She mainly writes historical fiction, which is again, like, my favorite genre to read. So I am very, very excited to read this. This was a scratch and dent copy of this particular book, but it was only like $3, so I couldn't pass it up. And it's really not in bad shape at all. Um, it's just pretty much the, the slip cover that um, is in bad shape. But yeah, this book is set in uh, 1945. And it says, Winter, 1945. Four teenagers, four secrets. And honestly, that's all I want to know about this book going into it. Um, I've heard really, really great things. And I am so excited to find a new historical fiction author. The next book I have is a book that I don't see a lot of people talking about, but it's a book that I've been interested in a very long time, and it is The Walls of Ravis by Nova Rinsuma. And this is a book about two dancers, I, I believe, and if you probably don't know this, but I was a competitive dancer for 18 years, so dance is like a huge part of my life, and um, this is about two, um, two girls that are friends, um, and I think somebody dies. I'll read the back. It says, On the outside, there's Violet, a dancer days away from the life of her dreams when something threatens to expose the shocking truth of her achievement. On the inside, within the walls of Aurora Hills Juvenile Detention Center, there's Amber, in prison for so long she can't imagine freedom. Tying their two worlds together is Oriana, who holds the key to unlocking all the girls' darkest mysteries. The Walls Around Us is a ghostly story of suspense told in two voices, one still living and one long dead. Um, so, I don't know. I think this is going to be a really good read. I think it's really going to interest me, and I am very excited to read this. Next book I got, I kind of picked up on a whim, just because I see it everywhere, and I thought it would be a cute story to read. And it is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, and this is a story about a girl who goes to Italy, I believe, and she falls in love, and I think there's some, like, family conflict as well, and, um, it just sounds like a cute little summer read, even though it's hardly summer anymore, I thought I would pick it up. And this was very cheap. I can't remember if it was scratch and dent or not, because it is just in great shape. It's a little, like, weathered, but that's about it. It's in perfect shape. Next book I got was, um, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I read his book Elantris, and I am in love with his writing and his style. He's a really, really great fantasy author, so I want to read more of his books. And Mistborn is a series that he has that is really, really well loved, very well received, so I definitely wanted to give it a try. And this is the first book, and I can't remember if this is exactly YA or not, because whenever I go to Books of Alien, this book is both in the YA section and in the adult section. So I'm just assuming that this is a series that everybody loves and it's for all ages and I'm very excited to get into it. And the last book I have is actually a brand new copy of A Conjuring of Light, which is the third book in the um, a 
gathering of shadows, a gathering of darkness, I, a dark shade of magic. I can't read. The first book is over there. I actually do not have the second book, but I, I know I'm going to get it because I know I'm going to read this whole series and I know I'm going to love it. So when I saw a hardback edition of this for only like eight bucks, I had to pick it up because it was just so cheap. And um, yeah, I need to read a darker shade of magic, like ASAP. I just keep putting it off and I don't even know why. I shouldn't have picked this up. I probably should have picked up a darker shade of magic, but um, this kind of thought would be easier for me to read and get into right now just to get me out of my reading slump and then I'm probably going to just uh, start reading a darker shade of magic. But yeah, enough of that rant. <laughs> so yeah, these are all the books that I have in this book haul from Book Outlet and Target and I'm very satisfied with it. Um, they were all extremely cheap and I am really, really excited to read all of these. This is a really, really great stack of books if I do say so myself. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful